In this session, let's discuss the if, elif, else statement. Elif is short for else if. It provides another condition statement that our program checks when there are more than two conditions. Recall from the previous session, the if else statement allows us to check for only two conditions. We can add as many ellipse statements that we need in our program because we may come across a scenario that have many scenarios. For example, here is a list of four scenario conditions. The first condition says if the price is greater than $100 and less than or equal to $199.99, then the customer gets a $10 discount. The second condition, if the price is greater than $200 and less than or equal to $299.99, then the customer gets a $25 discount. Third condition, if the price is greater than $300 and less than or equal to $399.99, then the customer gets a $50 discount. Fourth condition, if the price is greater than $400, then the customer gets a $60 discount. We need a block of code to handle all of these scenarios. Let's start with input. Enter cost of items. Let me move this up some so we have more room. The value with spec will be a float. So we add the float function before the input function, then assign the value to price. Please follow along and write your code as I write my code. Now, our program will check if the price is less than $199.99. When the price is less than $199, then the discount will be assigned $10. The purpose of an ellipse statement is to provide another condition when the if statement is false. So our second condition is elif price less than $299.99. Then discount will be assigned $25. Always type the colon. The colon means we are starting a block of code that will be executed when the condition is true. That's why our program has an indent. Be careful because if I decrease the indent by one space, an error will show up. Python is strict on indents. The third condition is elif price is less than $399.99. Then discount is assigned $50. The elif statement is like an if statement. However, it is only evaluated when the if statement is false. When the if statement and all of the ellipse statements fail, then Python runs the else block. We have a discount of $10, $25, and $50, but the only discount remaining is $60. There is a $60 discount when the price is greater than $400. Python does not require an else statement. We can easily make the else block an ellipse statement. Now, the else block is a catch all statement that tests any condition when the if or ellipse statements. That's not included with the if, elif, or if statements. So it's just a way to broad our test. Now, Let's print the discount. Your discount 
is a dollar sign. Use the format code for type float. In the string, we write a percent sign, a decimal, the number two, and an F. The percent sign dot two F is a format description placeholder for a floating point number with a two precision. Two means there will be two values after the decimal point. Next is the string operator followed by the discount variable name. Now, if you read this here, it's gonna be two decimals after the dollar sign. But if I put a three here, it'll be three values after the decimal point. Now, after the print statement, we're going to calculate total with price minus discount. Last step is to print the total by writing print your total price is. Just like the previous statement, we can just copy it. And I'm gonna put it right here. Bingo. Followed by the modulo operator and total, which is the variable name. Now, let's run. Enter cost of items. 100. Discount is $10 and total price is $90. Next is $250. Discount is $25 with a total price of $225. Let's test for some more conditions like $399.99. Now, the discount is not correct because it shows the dollars now i want to show you that for the 99 dollars 99 cent because what we should write is less than or equal to less than or equal to and less than or equal to because if i put less than only that means that the value that will be true would be $399.98. So make sure that you add the equal sense, equal sign. That's a good mistake that people make sometimes. Even when we're testing code, a developer can easily forget to put the equal sign. Now, let's run again. And I'm gonna add $399.99. Now, we see $50. Next, is $400 even and we see $60 because if we think about the condition if the price is greater than $400 now I made a mistake and it should be greater than or equal to $400 now let's do one more thing because it's good to test for many conditions therefore we must think about our code and the possible values before we say it's all good. How about $99.99? Uh-oh, we have a problem because the discount supposed to start at $100, even if the cost of items is negative $50. We know that's not right because we still see a discount in this situation, we will add a nested if statement. A nested if statement is when we place a statement inside of another statement. For this case, we are going to check for a condition after the first condition evaluates to true. So at the top, we add a nested if statement and indent the existing block of code. Indent and we're going to write if price is greater than $99.99. This condition determines if we execute the remaining block of code. If the condition is true, then the Python interpreter will check if the price is less than or equal to 100. 
$99 and $0.99, cents, followed by the subsequent lines. However, if price is not greater than $99.99, then we add an else block. Now, the else block will only come to an execution if this code is false. So, adding the else block, I'm gonna add another print statement. And that print statement would say, you do not qualify for a discount. Let's run. Uh-oh, I have a syntax error. And it says if price is less, is greater than 99. So if price is greater than 99, you see what happened? I forgot to add the colon. Run again, and let's add negative 10. Bingo. We see the console shows you do not qualify for a discount. This time, the cost is $50. And we still to see you did not qualify for a discount. Let's double check to make sure we can get a discount. Run. And I'm going to add $150. Bingo. The console returned a $10 discount with a total price of $140.00. That's it for the if, elif, and that's the if statements. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session.